Hello and welcome to another video. For this kind of integral, I promise you a partial fraction decomposition will work. Integration by parts will work. Use substitution will also work. Um, whichever method you choose to apply here, make sure it's the one you're most comfortable with. Okay, and I'm gonna do my own way, which will be you know I like you substitution but I'm going to show you that the u substitution is basically another form of partial fraction decomposition so um, let's just start let's start with you you uh, substitution and then I might show you another way of doing it which the thing is you're gonna end up with the same answer no matter what you do okay let's get into the video So the first thing you want to do is decide what's going to be your u and every time you have a rational function you want to focus on the denominator not the top the bottom okay so i'm going to choose x plus one as my u so i'm going to say let u be x plus one so that tells me immediately that du equals if i differentiate this is going to be just one so it's going to be one dx oh so there's no need to do anything fancy my du is the same thing as my dx. Okay, so it means if I write this expression, I can write it as um, the bottom is gonna be u, but what's the top gonna be? I don't wanna have any x there. I can replace dx with du, okay? But I don't wanna have this because what I have here is still in terms of x. I have to write that in terms of u, and so I've gotta do some algebra somewhere. Where can I do my algebra again? I can do it somewhere in the corner, okay? Since I said my u is x plus one, what can x be? x is gonna be u minus one, so if u equals x plus one, then it means that u minus one is equal to x. Okay, so I found my x, and now I need to go replace this with u minus one. So the top expression, so two x minus three can become two times u minus one minus three, which when you simplify will give you two u minus five. So what I'm gonna write on top here is two u minus five du. And now I can split this, becomes, so we have two u over u du minus five over u du, which uh, will become, this one will become just two, integral of two minus, this is gonna be five times the integral of one over u, okay, du, hey, you gotta put du each time, minus, okay, so this is what we've got, and let's just write it here, so this is gonna be equal to, what is the integral of two du, it's gonna be two u, what's the integral of this, this is gonna be minus five, natural log of u, and then plus c. And what did we say u was again from the beginning? It was x plus one. So we can actually write our final answer here is two times x plus one minus five times the natural log of x plus one plus c. So we've gotten our answer using u substitution. Remember I said that you could do this using u substitution or partial fraction decomposition or integration by parts. Let's see if I can just show you how to do that quickly. Let's try and decompose this expression. Remember that you could break this down using long division or synthetic division. Yeah, you could do that. So I'm just gonna show you, I have my own weird way of doing it, okay? But I'm just gonna use the easy method, okay? Well, I call my method easy, but I mean the easier method, okay? So we're just gonna divide this using long division. So I'm going to divide um, the top. So we're gonna divide two x minus three by x plus one. Okay, let's quickly do that. So we can see what this expression could be. So this expression will be, what would you multiply this by to get two x? I have to do two. So two times x gives me two x, and two times one gives me two. So now I subtract. Two x minus two x is zero, 
and negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. It looks like I'm done, there's nothing else to do. So it means this integral can be written as the integral of 2 minus 5 divided by x plus 1 dx which is what I think we got somewhere here. You see how quick this method is? If you can do long division, okay, you don't have to do u substitution, okay? It is integral, which is the quotient, okay? And then this is minus five is the remainder over the divisor that you have here. So this is equal to the integral of two du minus five integral of x plus one, one over x plus one, sorry, not du, dx, dx. I'm still doing dx. So what's the answer here? This is 2x minus 5 times the natural log of x plus 1. Uh, let me use this absolute value function because I don't know what x will always be. If x is negative, then this will not work. That's why we use absolute value plus c. And that's our answer. There's a problem. That's why, before I started, I quickly showed that 2 into x plus 1 could be written as 2x plus 2. Well, it doesn't change anything. This just says 2x. Well, when you do integration, you are not sure of what this constant is. It could be any number, depending on what part of the family of functions you just got. Because this is a family of functions, because this c could be minus one, could be seven, it does not invalidate the rest of this expression. So look at this, imagine me moving this plus two, because this is a constant. This is a constant, everything else is not constant. So this constant can actually be moved from here and added to this c, so that instead of calling this c, we can call it c1 or C2, or C3. So just imagine that you have moved this 2 from here and added it to this C. So we're no longer calling it C, we're calling it C1, which is the same C. It doesn't matter what the C is. It depends on where you find yourself. So these two answers are not different. We just have different constants represented, okay? Because I could have rewritten this as 2x, 2 times x plus 1 and still written c there. It wouldn't change anything. Okay, that's by the way of explanation or clarification. Let's do the last one, which is the um, integration by parts, but I'm going to do the di method because it's the fastest way for me to get, make this video as short as possible. So let's do the di method. So what we have is we're going to write this integral as 2x minus 3 times 1 over x plus 1 dx. So it's a product, okay? So we pick one of them as something to differentiate and pick the other one as something to integrate. For me, I know if I keep differentiating this linear function, it's gonna end up becoming zero. So I choose this to differentiate. Do I know how to integrate this? Well, I know that the integral of one over x plus one is natural log of x. Can I integrate one more time? I can try. Okay, I actually know what it is. So let's go. We're gonna have d and you're gonna have i. So, remember, you start with what you want to differentiate, which is 2x minus 3. What you want to integrate, 1 over x plus 1. You put plus, minus, plus. Okay? Those ones sit here. So, if I differentiate this, I'm going to get 2. If I differentiate one more time, I get 0. That's the last line. Let's go struggle on the right-hand side. What's the derivative of 1 over something? Well, we know it's natural log of that thing, okay? Um, this should be divided by the derivative, but we don't care because we know the answer. It's going to be the natural log of x plus 1. Now, what's the derivative of the natural log of x plus 1 from experience? And you can do it. You know how to do this? You have to do integration by parts again, but I already know what the answer is. It's going to be x plus 1 times the natural log of x plus 1 minus x. So because we've gotten to the point where we've got 0 here, we've got to stop and then do this. You want to do this, uh, make these connections. You want to make this connection, make this connection. 
Okay, so let's see how that's gonna go. Well, if you multiply zero by this, you're gonna get zero. So there's no point writing that part. We're just gonna write these two lines. So our first answer, or the first part of our answer is gonna be, uh, we have two x minus three times the natural log of x plus one. And then we have minus two minus two times x plus one times natural log of x plus 1 minus x. All of this um, together like this. Okay, this minus 2 is multiplying all of this. So let's simplify. This is going to be equal to 2x minus 3 times the natural log of x plus 1. Now let's distribute this to, it's going to be minus 2 times x plus 1 natural log of x plus 1 and minus 2 times this is going to be minus what would it be minus 2x no plus 2x okay now what is common i think i see natural log of x plus 1 is here it's also here so i'm going to take it out so this is the natural log of x plus 1 and then i'm going to write 2x minus 3 and here I'm going to have minus, oh, I'm going to distribute this. It's going to be minus 2x minus 2. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just, let me just remove this. So I, I know all of this is done. And then on the outside, I have plus 2x. Okay. Let's clean up. 2x minus 2x. Oh, this, we'll take this out. What I have left is minus 5, that's minus 3, minus 2, that's minus 5 times this natural log of x plus 1 plus 2x. Uh, does that look like this? Yeah, it's the same answer. So it's going to be 2x. Uh, oh, by the way, we cannot forget this. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be 2x plus sorry, 2x minus 5 ln of x plus 1 plus c. The same answer as we got here. So, they are not wrong. Remember, if it's a constant, you can always move it to join the c because c is in the family. So this c is the family of constants. Never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.